Corvina is actually the queen of the Verona grape. It's not the only one required by law to be in the blend for the production of Amarone, but this is absolutely the most important one. And the main characteristic of this grape is the thickness of the skin. You know, these grapes have to dry for 100 days or more to produce the Amarone. And there's nothing better than the Corvina varietal for that typical characteristic. So thick skin means a very healthy and consistent drying for a long period of time. So here we are in the uh, drying loft area at uh, Tomasi Winery. This is the place where the Corvina, Corvinone and Rondinella grape varietals actually dry for minimum 100 days to produce the Amarone wine. Uh, what I can show you is actually the two ways of drying. What was more historical versus what is a little bit more modern, if you will. Starting from the history, from tradition, these uh, bamboo racks, uh, originally called uh, arele. This is where a long, long time back, the local you know, grape growers, vine growers, like my great grandfather and my grandfather, used to lay down grapes and dry. So grapes lay down on each of these racks, you know, on each layer, and then by getting air circulation, the grape would actually dry. So it's important to explain that the drying process is made with air circulation and not by leaving the grapes longer in the vines. The, the more modern way, if you will, is actually using smaller boxes, either wooden boxes or, or plastic boxes, like, like in this case. Plastic boxes or, or boxes in general, what does it mean? It means that we take this to the vineyard, like to the Concadoro vineyard, we put the grapes into the boxes, drive them back here, leave them on the floor, and then, you know, uh, take the grapes back after 100 days for drying. By doing this, in a way you save one step, because when you go back to tradition, the areles can only be filled with grapes where we are. So there would be an extra step, handmade work by taking grapes out of here and laying them down over here, which is good to do, but it's simply an extra work. That's, that's nothing more than that. So finally, how do they dry? They dry by air circulation. So you can appreciate there are windows all around, which we keep open to get the air come through and dry. There is a little artificial help that we do in the beginning, uh, when, uh, say, October, for example, when the temperature is still fairly warm, and that is by using big uh, fans that we kind of put in the middle of uh, a few pallets in order to actually help the air moving around a little quicker. But as soon as the winter really starts and it gets cold and dry, the dry and cold natural air that comes from outside is enough to complete the drying process. See, this explains, this is actually Corvina. So here it, it explains that the thickness of the skin allows the grapes to lose a lot of weight, but they still remain very healthy. And then if you taste it, you would chew a very thick skin, but still very sweetness a lot of sweetness in the, in the juice, in the must, which is, which is the secret of the drying process. The aim is to have most of the water to evaporate and the juice concentrate with natural sugar. So this actually after, you know, five months nearly of drying and they still look fairly healthy. That's the secret of the Corvina grape. As an example, if you dried other varietals, Merlot, Sangiovese, Cabernet, whatever, Pinot Noir, whatever, in one month of drying, they will lose 95%. So, thanks to modern nature, Amarone can only be made in the Valpolicella area and nowhere else in the world.